All right, guys, I got beef with the SMMA gurus you see on YouTube. I see a lot of smart people creating videos around starting your own SMMA and how easy it is and how you can make $50,000 in a matter of a few weeks. I got a major problem with this. These people are on purpose leaving key information about starting your agency just out of the picture like it doesn't exist. Every kind of frameworks the difference between profit and net profit and operating profit. Truth of the matter is billing $50,000 a month if you got your own agency is not that hard. But there are so many things to keep under control if you really want to do a great job with your clients in order for them to stay. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mark. I'm the founder of Autobahn Digital. I've been involved in two 50 million a year agencies in the past before starting my own. And I've went through the challenges you might be facing if you want to start your own SMMA. I decided to go for a, a niche I'm really well known for where I got a pretty decent network. If you want to join me on LinkedIn, check the link below in description. I've had the chance to work with a handful of companies like Home Depot, Best Buy, Walmart, um, General Motors, Ford, to name a few, just handling a lot of ad campaign um, budget over the years. It just strikes me whenever I see this, right? I'm all about creating a cool business. I'm doing one on my own right now. There's a concept that's called churn, okay? So it's it's OK to bill. It's OK to start like acquiring new clients, which is, by the way, not easy, especially if you're starting with zero clients, because why should someone trust you? Why should someone with a business trust you with their hard earned money? And it's very possible that that person in charge of that business or that marketing director or, you know, that business owner already got burned in the past at least once with poor performing ads. So what do you do if you want to start an agency with no experience, no audience, no referrals and no case studies, right? It's a really, really tough problem to solve. Okay, getting the ball rolling with SMMA is harder than you think. And I decided to create this video today because when I when I watch those videos from gurus telling you that start your own SMMA, it's the best company, it's the best type of business that you could start. They're not 100% wrong, but if you listen to them, it's kind of all unicorns and rainbows. And lately I've created a small private community to help anyone that wanted to start SMMA agency in the automotive field um, specifically. OK, so I'm not looking to sell you anything right now, but I just want to mention this because the recurring team has been how hard it is to, to get the first, second or even third client because you have nothing to show for because people will ask you, who are you working with? How, how are you helping them? Is that like, is it working for them? They'll actually call these other people to know if you're legit. And you need examples and show something. So there's really a huge disconnect between thinking you're doing, you're going to do 50 K a month, you know, in the, in the next few weeks and really starting your own business aside of like the, the easy stuff, like getting your business incorporated is it, it's pretty fine. You know, it's, it's, it, it sucks, but it's also pretty easy. The hard part is really again your first clients doing cold calls. If you, if you haven't like never done these before, it's, it, it could be pretty intense. Um, you know, um, there, there's ways to make it easier than to do like proper research between before calling. But my point is I really have a problem with anyone that's, that's telling you it's going to be easy. Okay. So let's say you're amazing with cold calls. It works out. Somehow you convince people to uh, send you money. Perfect. How do you build your clients? How do you um, create a campaigns and manage them so it's cost effective and time effective for you? Because unless you're a magician, you will have a hard time charging $5,000 for a campaign that's a thousand bucks a month. People are smart. People owning businesses are smart. OK, so they'll challenge your ideas, challenge why you're charging this much. Let's fast forward. Let's say you got uh, 10 clients, 5K each gross, not net. OK, because Whenever I see these people talking about like, let's do 50 K in a month, hundred K in a month. Is it the money you're keeping in your own pocket or is it the money you're sending to Google, Facebook, whatever, right? Because there's a huge difference in most industries. Management will go from 10 to 30% of said budget. So if you're doing a thousand dollars, it might be 200 bucks in your own pocket, in your own business. The rest is going to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, right? 
so it's a whole different ball game so then let's say you scale to 10 clients like i said managing 10 clients takes time okay people will be asking for reports if you want to do pretty reports look professional you'll need some tools or some time tools range from 100 bucks a month to 200 bucks a month to do something that's relevant that's connected to your to your uh, business account on facebook and everything um then if you want to do it for free you'll you'll have to do it manually it's super time uh consuming so i still suggest you get tools for that just to save you some time and you know make it easier for you and then you'll have to plan performance reviews with those clients to let them know this is what's working and you know hosting these meetings will give you an, like um a good way to upsell them in the future but only if it works it's super hard to upsell someone if what you're doing in the first place is not working so if they're not happy with what's going on at the moment you can pretty much skip the upsell phase because it's going to be a waste of time on your end and you're going to lose credibility on your end too i'm all about people People helping um, other people build their own businesses online but there's a problem when I see missing information that's a major that could have a major impact on whatever your things work um, or not and uh, the, the way to get it is a $5,000 course look I'm selling courses myself I got a business that's a training company but at the same time I think it's just crazy to go for a course at that price point if you're not really gonna gonna help people because Sadly, I've been in touch with people who have taken a few of these courses from gurus. I, I'm not going to name them because that's not my style, but there's three, four, five thousand dollar courses uh, to help you start your agency, which is like they're really like I'm, I'm kind of jealous the way to sell it because it's super it, it was super well put between you and me. But at the same time, I, it, from from the feedback I've been given, um, it, it, it's really a lot of fluff and I think it's sad because you're taking a lot of money from people who, who don't have a lot of money to start with and I, I feel like people are left a few weeks few months later with a big hole in their bank account and the realization that starting your SMMA agency is not as easy as people say it is I, I, I just wanted to create this video today to fight back a little bit and I want to give you the opportunity to join um, a community where we could discuss, right? I want to um, I want to share what I've been learning through the last 15 years, working with countless brands, thousands of of, um, of businesses at this point. And I want to make sure uh, at least if I could give you one piece of advice that's relevant to you, that could help you, you know, I, I'd be super happy to do so. Right now I'm hosting a community. I want to make it somewhat private you just have to sign up and um you know it's not I, i'm not gonna charge you five thousand dollars for this and ultimately i want to create a mastermind or you know a group of people that will exchange ideas problems issues and whenever someone asks a question it, it, it's super cool because maybe a hundred other people might have the same question and in this case it will serve the answer will serve everyone at some point and maybe just get you to reflect on something else right give you an idea it's also a great uh, way to network with some other people in the space and i feel like there's a lot of different it's not because you're starting an smma that you like everyone's the same some people are really design oriented some others are really good copywriters some others are maybe like better salespeople than SMMA or campaign managers themselves, you know, so it's pretty interesting. I've been seeing the dynamic in my private group for automotive people. And, um, you know, if you are, uh, just drop a comment. I mean, I'll get you in the, uh, at the right place, but if you're anything outside of automotive, uh, you know, not, not working with car dealerships, it's, it's pretty much always the same concept, the same framework if you want to make it work. So hopefully I can help you if you've been watching this um a video and you've got this far i think it would be a great idea to give it a shot join this community don't miss on anything you could learn inside and uh, i hope to see you inside cheers